Hey everybody, welcome back. We're getting ready to do some more acrylic pouring. This one is a project for the store and hopefully they like it. Hopefully it turns out well. <laughs> Key thing, I think I've got you all so that the video is horizontal. I may have to turn it in editing, but we are doing a sign for hopefully the corner of the store that will have not only my video but other artists video that can't actually do their craft in the store because of either how messy it is or because of the tools that are needed or the drying time all that kind of stuff I can't do it in the store because of the drying time and then the curing and all that kind of stuff I'd have to set it up to dry in the store at least for two days if not longer and it that's just not fair so we're doing a hopefully others will participate but we're going to do a video wall and the sign is not only going to have these triangles but i'm going to put them on this side mirror image this way and then i'm going to put a feather on this side and then it should read artists in action. That's the idea. <laughs> we'll see if that happens. At any rate, the logo colors are green and brown, different shades of it, and we've got six triangles, three of each color, three brown, three green, different shades. So we're going to give this a shot and see how we do. I've mixed up some thicker paints which I think will be okay for the swiping part. The triangles I'm gonna do as a swipe. I'm using the same colors for the feather. So that's the idea. And then the base will be white. I have taped off the back and I've sprayed it to tighten it up. There's still a little bit of dimpling, but as it goes through the process, that dimpling should go away. And it's cold in the basement, so my nose is running. <laughs> so yeah it's just a fun day so my colors are I've got deco art 24 karat gold which looks like that looks like liquid gold these were all made up last night they were setting so that the bubbles would all come to the surface however uh, j one of them I just did right now because I realized I needed another green but the colors are 24 karat gold deco art, Arteza pearl olive green, which is kind of that color. That's the one I just did up. We've got Artist Loft burnt umber, looks like liquid chocolate. <laughs> We've got deco art tan. This is part of their crafters acrylic. So we'll see how it interacts with the others. We've got Liquitex gray, uh, green gray. I always want to flip that. And then we have Amsterdam phthalo green. Phthalo green is completely translucent. Gray green is completely opaque. The tan, I'm not sure because it's not marked on its bottle. Burnt umber is opaque. And the pearl olive green is semi-opaque, semi-transparent, however you want to phrase that. And the 24 karat gold, it doesn't say. I'm going to guess it's probably at the very least semi-transparent, if not transparent. However, based on how many folks like the 24 karat gold, it may actually be opaque. I'm just not positive. All right. So those are the colors. And then the base is Amsterdam titanium white. All of them are about the same thickness. So hopefully I've got some consistency there. The practice we did with the feather last night, which I would pick up, but the base of it's still wet. It did better with the thicker paint. I shouldn't have too much problem with the swipe with the paints being a little bit thicker, we shall see. We're gonna start with those first. So here's my little trowel for swiping. 
as soon as we get the old paint off <laughs> it's like I didn't wash it as well as I thought I had I'm not putting the white base down until I've done the two corners and then we'll put the rest of the paint down so that's the plan and I told y'all I've got it taped off on the back right I think I told you that so starting with the light triangle first let's go ahead and put some white down I even tried vacuuming off the table this evening <laughs> I had lots of little pieces of chipped paint so I was like we'll just take a vacuum cleaner to it Okay. Even though it sat overnight, it still had lots of bubbles. Not on the surface, of course. But I find, I find the um, thicker paints do hold on to the bubbles a bit more. Try not to scorch. So, all right, we're starting with the tan first. That's the um, one that's on the bottom, or the bottom as far as the logo goes and these are just tiny triangles so let's see how I do on this let's go about that big I'm going to do just a little bit of the dark brown hopefully not much we'll see how I do with that I'm going to thin the swipe color just a little bit because it's thick for the feather part. Now I'm going to add just a drop of silicone. Okay, my shoulder is probably going to be in a way, but just so that I have a good direction for the swipe part. Looks a bit thick, doesn't it? That does not look good. <laughs> Let's see what happens when I torch it. Nothing's happening. Oh, it is here on the end. But I'm not liking this. Let's take this off. This way is the quickest way.
I was trying not to take the white all the way down to the canvas, but that's not how it wanted to work. Okay. Flatten that out by just tilting. Let's do just the tan. Try not to do as much paint. Got some drips in there, but that's all right. We'll clean that up later if this works. I'm going to do a smaller, thinner patch of gold. And let's do a kind of swinging. Still not working. What tool do I want to use? Let's use the, we're going to try this a little differently. We're going to pull the white paint away and put just the swipe color down and see if that doesn't do better. But this is good paint, so I don't want to waste it. So we're just going to move it over. I'm going to try to work fast so that this paint right here, well, we'll just do this. I didn't want it to get too lumpy, but... That right there is probably the best solution. Sorry, gurgles. Let's do tan. Try to do very little brown. It's mainly because I don't want it to be too dark just yet. Now let's try to swipe. It's a little bit of gold. I think I've got a little too much, but that's all right. Okay, there's that. Let's do the dark first and then just a little bit of it and then lots of tan and we've got a little bit of overlap Almost dumped all my swipe color. I'm going to try to pull it um, from the two corners this time. So pull it from there, pull it from there.
Well, it is a little darker than the other one. I'm going to go ahead and finish doing all six and see how we feel about it. I'm going to bring this other one out just a little bit more to work on our curve. What I might do is sharpen it up in the post part of the drawing, the painting. Just a little bit of the tan. I think the pulling from the two corners first worked best. So we're going to do that again. Let's put it all down first. And now pull. All right, let's work on the greens, starting with the lighter and working towards the darker. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish putting white around. Oh no, I'm going to let that set. I'm going to work on the feather next, which should go right here, and then we'll put the white down in all the different areas. I'm going ahead and putting the, my 24 karat gold that has the silicone in it in my cup for the kiss pour, just because I won't get to use it up otherwise, and I don't think it will hurt the kiss pour. I'm going to have gold as the main color, and then we'll put the other colors in. Uh, so I want to mix this up a little bit. Let's put some of the coral olive green in. I'm trying not to do too much because it's just going to be a little feather. Let's go ahead and do the tan. Let's do the phthalo green. This isn't quite a dirty pour. The paint's so thick it's not mixing. I'm going to do the gray green, green gray. Can't remember the order that it's supposed to be. And the burnt umber. I'm going to do what I did last night, which is do the feather part first, and then we'll pour around it. All right, this is going to be the opposite of what I did last night. So base color is in the left hand, and the kiss, the colors are in the right hand, and we're going to go this direction. The base of the feather should be here. Well, that looks okay. I'm going to pour here. And then here. All right. I'm going to pull the white through just to blend it a little bit more. I'm going to move it inward first. I think I'm going to have to do what I did last night, which is do some pulls. I'm going to do the other side and then I'll go back and do the second layer. Second layer. Go ahead and put 
rest of the white down. That air bubble just went rolling. It said, let me out of here. Oops. Hopefully that will dry somewhat even. Let's go ahead and get the drippings. All right, let me clean my hands up and then I'll bring you guys in for a closer look. Okay, showing the feather first. There's the stem. And there's the feather. The tip goes off the side. As you can see there. And then the triangles, which I will clean up. Just getting you in for a closer look. I think once I'm done, it will look nice. <laughs> we shall see. But I will bring you in for the next step, which will be cleaning up the triangles. See you then. Hey everybody. Just recording this part of things. The angle is pr probably really odd. I was going to use the stencil and spread on the paint that way, but that would take forever because the stencils are all together. I'd have to wait for the letter to dry before I could do the next letter. And so I might be able to mix up some letters, but it was going to take forever. So I've sketched out and I'm going to use, I accidentally ordered the fine tip on the um, acrylic pen um, paints, acrylic paint pen. I'll get it right. And uh, so it's a really fat tip on it. So 
it was not what I wanted. Apparently it's extra fine is the tip that's nice for signing and all that kind of stuff. But this will be perfect for filling in my letters. So I'm going to do them in black and then I'm going to take my gold fine tip pen and just add some gold accents so it blends in with these a little better. So that's the plan. And I I didn't record me doing this in action because I did it uh, in lots of little steps. But you saw where um, they were kind of rounded blobs. So I took some tape and made some straight lines, took white paint and filled it in. And I've done several layers. I need to add a little bit more, like at least one more layer here, here, here. So I'm going to do that as well this evening, um, but we're going to do the letters first and then we'll do the white touch up.
Okay, touch up on the triangles I think is done. Actually, let's get this little spot right here. And I think we've gotten all the under layers covered. Now, I'm just going to go around my letters and cover up the pencil that wouldn't erase. Okay, let's bring you guys in for a closer look. Okay, just showing you how the feather dried. It dried nicely. It is a little big for what I was intending. There's the tip. And it just kind of goes over the edge. <laughs> but that's all right. And then there's the triangles that we swiped. Going from brown down to a green. I think that turned out well. And then the letters. And I will add some gold shine to those. And I didn't mention it when I was talking about the triangles, but I'm going to put gold around the outside of the triangles just so they pop a little bit more. It's going to be using this product and then putting some gold leaf on. So here's a dry picture. Thank you all for joining me on this one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.